can you go back? Okay. Yeah. So nearly 90% of the nonprofits have a Facebook page with an average of 6,376 friends. If you want to look at this whole article, it's it's in Forbes. And again, if you just if you use that first URL that I gave you, we'll go back to that at the end. So there's a link to this online. Then you could just like look at this online and click that. You don't have to copy it down. So nonprofits, foundations, and businesses are using Facebook. Facebook's toolbox to connect with consumers' conscience, bring like-minded individuals together and spur action. Social media drives social change. And we've seen that, um, I think the Coney thing, who's not talking about that viral video about Coney? Oh, that was so, it was on television. And then every social media discussion at South by Southwest, somebody would bring that up and talk about it. Um, I had to, I called her, I don't know, did see. One of my least engaged and serious students in class last week showed me that video. And I mean, this is not a person I would expect to have. And she said, oh, and it's like 28 minutes, and I watched the whole thing. <laughs> so if you haven't watched that, Coney, you should look at that and how they're, I mean, that was very sophisticated. I think Invisible Children worked on that for many, many years. But, it, you know, that thing is getting millions of hits. And they did, not a Kickstarter, but they had like a donation thing where they were just asking people for a dollar or two if they, you know, believed what they said about Coney. And I, I expect they're getting quite a few in. And they certainly got the press from it. Um, so they can stir s social change in the New York Times today. Um, they were talking about Rush, and I was kind of happy to hear he's still not having trouble getting those national um, advertisers. And they described what happened to Rush after his remarks to that Sandra Fluke as a Twitter bombing. So that's what we don't want to have happen to our organization. We do not want our organization to get Twitter bombed. And what they were doing, they're not Twitter bombing the organization. They're going to, like if you looked at the television and you see an advertiser, then they Twitter bomb that advertiser and say, we're not going to buy your product unless you get rid of Rush. And with social media, what's really easy is to ask somebody to Twitter that message and then let their friends know. And if they're on Facebook, their friends know automatically. And, you know, then somebody will say, oh yeah, Janine did that. Well, I'll do that too. John did that. I'll follow along. Okay. Go to the next one. All right, and some of the things you can do with, with uh, your Facebook tools, you can set up pledges. You can have a social footprint. This word gamify, big word, came up at, social, at the <coughs> South by Southwest. Gamify and badges. Anybody been doing the Khan Academy videotapes? Or have you come across any of the, um, MacArthur has a lot of digital youth media. And for some reason, they're fascinated with this badge idea. So I didn't, I wasn't sure what it was. The Khan Academy, I was looking at some statistics videos, teaching different statistics because we're developing a research and data-driven course for our journalists. And I was just looking at it because I said, oh, there's 60 of them. Which of these would we have our students do first? Do we need them all? And as I was on there 10 minutes, this little came up, thing came up and said, good user. You now have got the good user badge because you have looked at this for 10 minutes. So actually, I kind of found it a little intrusive. But I imagine if I had logged on to the site, it would have said Barbara or Dr. Barb. So it may work for your group. It may not work. But have your ears open for this idea of gamifying things and then badges. And your social footprint, I mean, you could come up with ways, you know, the first person to get this kind of a certain number of volunteers that might be the game, you know, you move up. Um, there are things online if you have young volunteers. There's apps where you can design games. So you take a well-known game like Frogger or something and you put your logos in there or logos that would make sense for the group that you work with. And you know, then people will come back to play a game you're giving them some. Real-time interactive maps, again, that gets into that in the area because if you're mapping, if I, you know, if you ask me to turn my geolocation on, you know, I can be tracked anywhere. But that could be nice if you had, let's say you had, um, I know there's a, an organization, I think they work with uh, ex-offenders, ex 
and they go around with a food truck and sell sweets and food. So that would be a good example on their Facebook page. They could have a map and it would tell you where that food truck was every day so you would know, oh, it's going to come by my work somehow. Groups, you can set up groups.